I am the darker brother. Yes, sir. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh, eat well, and grow strong. <laughs> Tomorrow, I will be sitting at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare tell me to eat in the kitchen. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. That's it. This time we have our first step in the process. Amen. 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 God is good. Amen. God is so good. Thank Him for being God. Amen. Amen. Especially during this Black History Month season. Amen. We know that every day is Black History, right? So we are Black History. That's right. It's so good to us as a people. Amen. Like I said last week. So we're just going to worship God and praise Him. Everybody that can. And we'll please stand to your feet. If you cannot, then that is personal. Praise Him from where you are. Amen. Amen. But please Amen. just join me in and worship Him with us. Amen. Amen. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to clap like this. Okay. Oh,
amen, you will come wind up what? In the same trap over and over again. Uh, and am I right about that? You be mindful, amen, that the devil can't make you do anything. Right. It, it, it's your choice. Right. And, and his aim is to trap us in a uh, circle, amen, where we are going round and round and doing the same thing that caused us misery and hurt right. and harm in our lives. Yeah. See, he wants you to, amen, eat from that same menu every day. And he don't want you to change anything because he knows, amen, that he's got you, amen, in a vicious cycle of life and sin, and he don't want to let you go. And for as Christians, freedom includes being set free from anything that would prevent us from experiencing God's will. Right, right. What we must be mindful of is that freedom doesn't remove us from responsibility. Right. It doesn't remove us from requirements. It doesn't remove us from rules and regulations. It doesn't remove us from restraints in our lives. You see, a fish is free to roam the rivers, the lakes, and the seas but not the earth, because it is not equipped to live outside the realm of water. And as children of God, amen, that we have everything that we need pertaining to life, amen, to serve God in a godly manner. But he has parameters. He has boundaries that he has set that we cannot go what? Outside and function properly as what? A Christian. Right. And as, as citizens of the United States of America, we have freedoms. Right. As long as they don't break the established laws of the land. Right. Uh, am I right about it? You can brush your teeth when you want to. You can comb your hair when you want to. You can go outside and cut your yard when you want to. You can, amen, take a walk, amen, up and down the highway when you want to. You can eat lunch when you want to. You can go to sleep when you want to. And it doesn't affect the laws of the United States. But they say if you get on, amen, one of their roads or one of our roads and you drive too fast and break the speed limit, punishment will what? Occur. Yeah. Right. So freedom has what? Restrictions. Mm -hmm. Freedom has what? Restraints, and you cannot do everything that you want to do if you are what denying the freedom, amen, to other individuals to live, amen, a life that they want to live also. Am I right about that? Amen. And, and when you think about this, people don't want us to know our history. Oh, yeah. We're having a problem, amen, with states now, amen, and telling us that part of our history that we can't tell anymore. Right. Uh, tell the part about, amen, who invented the, amen, the telephone. Tell the part, amen, about who invented the light bulb, amen. Tell the part of all of the good stuff and how creative you people are. That's what I get. Uh -huh. But don't tell the part of the history when you, amen, were put in chains and brought over to a foreign land. Don't tell that, amen, because we don't want our children to know that part because it hurts their feelings. Uh, have I got a witness? And so what they're trying to do and what people want you to do, amen, and the devil also is not look at your history, right. where you came from. Right. And amen, and if I look back, if I even look back over my life and realize how jacked up I was before Jesus Christ came into my life, I was the same issue that I had in my life that held me what? In bondage. I would be enslaved, amen, to sin all over again. So I need to what? Repeat and recognize and reflect upon what? My history. 
I need to know where I came from and how I got to where I am right now. I don't know what that is. So when oh boy and all mean, amen, we the history of the word of God, I reflect on that I was a sinner once in my life. But now I have been saved by what? Saved by grace. So I can't, amen, I can't legitimately, amen, and when I mess up now, amen, say that, amen, it was an error. It wasn't an error. It was something I decided to do. It was by choice. I chose to be enslaved in sin once again when I was committed, committed sin. Have I got a with We always blame everybody else but ourselves when we mess up, don't we? And, 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 and when the laws of this land are transgressed, we pay fines and we suffer what? Punishment. See, freedom is always balanced with requirements, responsibility, and restriction. Because we're some stubborn and some silly people. We, 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 we wake up in the morning some, amen, and don't want to go to work, amen, but we'll wake up and say, I need some money in my pocket, so what I'll do, I'll go rob somebody. <laughs> Have I got a witness? And, and you preach to wake up with that thought in your mind, but you're not what preach to commit that crime. No. Have I got a witness? Amen. But we do it anyway. Have I got a witness? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because we have a thing that I'm free. I can do what I want to when I want to, and there is no recourse of punishment. Uh -huh. No, baby. There's always something for a child of God. Uh -huh. Amen. That if we don't live according to his word, amen, he has chastisement coming our way. And, and, and the problem is, is because he doesn't chastise us in the moment. Mm -hmm. We think we have gotten away from with something. Have I got a win? Have you ever had a time with mama that mama dad didn't whoop you in the moment? You thought you got away with it? Amen. You're going around smiling all day, amen, and chinning and drinking, amen, eating your food with a while, watching TV, amen, and all of a sudden, you can't, amen, put your tummies on, amen, get in the bed, and here come Papa Daddy with that strap. They get your attention and let you know that you are what? You don't get away with breaking what? The rules and regulations. And God deals with us the same way. It may not happen in the moment, amen, but it's eventually going to happen because you have to do what? Correct the error, what? In our lives, if we did correct the error, we would do the same thing over and over again and completely destroy our sin yeah. and the lives yeah. of others. Yeah. So we have to have what? Balance. We have to have requirement, responsibility, and restriction. And, and we have to have the knowledge that freedom does not come without sacrifice, All right. mm. without suffering, yeah. and without striving. Right. I got right. See, we don't like sacrifice. Right. We don't like suffering. Right. And I sure don't like striving. Right. I, I want to live peaceably with all mankind, but sometimes a man strife what comes up. Yeah. Sometimes struggling comes up. Yeah. We face struggle in our history, amen, and we face strife in our history. We face suffering in our history. We face sacrifice, what, in our history, and it talks us that we have to stand fast. Yeah. Amen. We just can't fall over and let people take advantage of us. That we, if we want to be free, then we're going to have to struggle and fight what for our freedom. We can't sit in our lazy boy and lazy girl, amen, and allow, amen, the world to pass us by and the enemy to do the things that he's doing right now. We got to say something. We have to stand fast for what to remain what free in this land. Uh -huh. But the beauty of it, amen, as a child of God, I've been set free and nobody can put me back in bondage all over again. So even though I struggle in a mean 
through. Why? I have hope because I know that God is going to deliver me. And he's going to keep delivering me. Not only from man, but he's going to deliver me from myself. Right. Have I got a witness? Yeah. Ain't nobody bothering me on the outside. I'm bothered on the inside. Yeah. I struggle with myself. Yeah. That's the war that we have to fight in our life. That's the freedom. He made us free, but what? We are now. The old man. The old nature. To put us in what? Bondage. Over and over again. But so what we have to do is understand that we don't need to be caught in the same trap over and over again. We can break the cycle. Can we do it? Yes. Have I got a witness, amen? When I, when I was growing up in the project, I saw many individuals, amen, they were all welfare, section eight, and all of those things. It become a family history. Generation after generation. Then God bless, touch the heart of the hardworking individuals and their children. The next generation stepped out of that. They stepped out of the poverty, amen. They, they made up their mind and they were going to struggle and go to school, get an education and better themselves. And they did it. They broke the cycle. The cycle was a trap. And they kept what? Repeating over and over yeah. again. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah. You can live in a neighborhood, but you don't have to be a hood. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You can live in a, a tough neighborhood, but you don't have to sell drugs and kill folks. Break a lot of change yeah. when that change begins to heal. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. Oftentimes, amen, when we're in darkness, we ask the question, what is the light? Yeah. And if you are a child of God, you are. Yeah. You are. That's right. That's you don't have to remain where you are. Because God can bring about what? A change in your life if you let him. Now he's not going to make you do something you don't want to do. See, because if he did, that would make him what? An uh, enslaver, wouldn't it? It would make you a puppet and he would pull your strings. That's why he gives you free will to, and a choice, amen, to make a decision of how you want to live your life. And he tells you, you can live your life with me, or you can live your life without me. If you live your life with me, I'll bless you. I'll help you through what the storms of your life. I'll help you through your trials and tribulations. I'll help you through the problems that you're facing right now. Because what? I am your God, yeah. your Savior, yeah. 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 and your Lord. That's what he'll do for us right. if we allow him. Right. But yeah. him being our Savior has responsibility, right. Right. requirements, and restrictions. Yeah. Right. See, we're fighting a fight, my brothers and sisters. Yeah. Because the enemy does not embrace the free will of man. And the enemy seeks to imprison the minds of men with his lies. That's how he works. He lies to us. Y'all dated guys that lied, lied to y'all. Y'all with that man. Dated ladies that lied to you. You had employers that lied to you. Uh, you have people, your friends have lied to you. You, get, you find people that they're making lies a habit right. and, and they're not embracing the truth. The enemy, amen, wants to mess up your mind. Oh, yeah. See, Jesus spoke with these words in uh, amen in John 8 and 44. He said, you are of your father, the devil, 
and the lust of your father he will do. Oh, ye are your father, ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own self, for he is a liar and the father of it. That's who the enemy is. Yeah. He's a liar. He's a murderer. Murderer. He's a thief. In John eight forty five, and because I tell you the truth, uh -huh. you believe me not. Yeah. But because you would rather hear a lie than what be the truth right. from our Creator. Right. See, that's how messed up we are. We we got ourselves in a trap. And, 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 and it seems like some of us, amen, that we'll get out of it, amen. God will release us from that trap, amen. Help us get out and get to go right back into it. Right. Same yeah. old, same old. Yeah. Have I got one? Yeah. Have you ever got, got up in the morning time, amen, and your life was the same old, same old? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes, amen, go, you know, we're going to a place and I'll take a different route. She said, Why are you going that route? I said, I want to do something different. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I want to do something Amen. Yeah, she said I'm in love for that. Sometimes, sometimes I want to take a big That's right. Because I'm tired of what? Same old, same old. You know that. Have you ever heard the word? I'm, I'm hurrying up. Have you ever heard the word gaslighting? You hear that a lot on TV. Amen. It comes a lot from politicians that. Uh, amen. These news commentators, right? Do you know what gaslighting is? Do you know what it means? It, gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation mm, right. in which the abuser attempts to sow self doubt and confusion in their victim's mind by distorting the reality and forcing them to question their own judgment. That man, the enemy does that. Uh -huh. God will tell you to go left and everything. And then say, no, 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 don't do that. That's not good. Go, go right. And God said, help that person. And then the enemy said, no, they're going to take it. They're going to take your money and buy some wine. And he always, no matter what good thoughts you have in your mind, he does what? He come and plant what? A bad thought. Uh -huh. Amen. Planting what? Doubt in your mind. That's gaslighting. Taking the truth and what? Trying to make it a lie out yeah. of it. And that's what he does because he's the father of what? Lies. Lies. But what we have to understand is that we have to have the knowledge and understanding that in John 14 and 6, Jesus said unto him, I am the way. And that word, I am the way, it means the path that you must take. I am the way. He didn't say a way. He said, I am the way. That's the path that you must take to get to what? The Father. I am the truth and the life. He's talking about everlasting life. Not just life down here, but he's talking life up there. Have I got a witness here? Yeah. And no man cometh unto the Father, but by what? Me. The devil tells you there's all, all kind of ways to get to God. They tell you the Buddha, the Muhammad, the, 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 all, a whole bunch of others, amen, that you can put your trust in. But God the Father tells us, Jesus tells us, yeah. that the only way to the Father is by what? Him. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Say that for me. The truth, the truth shall make you shall make you free. Free. But it seemed like to me. Yeah. It seemed like there should be a lot of people in the church living free from sin and not in bondage to sin. Seemed like, right? <laughs> that makes per perfectly good sense, right? That this is a church house, and it, it all we feel right now of believers, amen, are trying to live their life free from sin. Uh -huh. 
Say long. But it ain't. Because some of us have chosen the path of the world and we want to live in that path. Here's the problem. Knowledge of Jesus Christ being our Savior must be received, embraced, and manifested in our lives. See, the truth is in what? Your life. What you show out in your life. Not the words that come out of your mouth, but what is manifested in what? The life that you live. And when light comes into contact with darkness, the darkness is what? Dispersed. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And things hide in the darkness. Mm -hmm. We need some light in our life oh, right yeah. now. And Jesus said, well, I'm going to put this a proving point here. He said, now, if you are in me, and if you say that you love me, keep my what? That's keep my commandment. That's a requirement. Isn't it? He's telling us that's what we need to do. So my brothers and sisters, we need to make up our mind today uh, that we're going to embrace the truth of Jesus Christ in our life. But the problem is, reality can be painful. It can be hard to bear. It puts us on the edge. It makes us squirm. We are in sin and have, have a, we were born in sin and have a certain part of us called pride that is at war with reality and we create our own false narratives yeah. about ourselves and about the things in our life. You're right. How many of you are going to create a false narrative in your all life? Right. Amen. And I'm saying, I'm all right. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Amen. I don't need this and I don't need I don't need a man. I don't need a woman. I don't I don't need this. Yeah, yeah. We need each other, don't we? And we need help, amen. We can't carry the load of life sometimes by ourselves. And it's this pride thing, amen, that we need to deal with in our life. And, and, and many of us get angry when we are confronted with the truth mm -hmm. about our defects and shortcomings. Yeah. You can tell me about others, but you can't tell me about myself. Right. Yeah. Now, am I right about that? Yeah. We, hey, you know what? Let's get together. We're going to talk about Sister Mary, amen, but, uh, but we're not going to talk about our problem. We find uh -huh. groups, amen, that will point out one or two individuals, amen, yeah. and they will start a conversation or write a book about someone else, but never read a chapter in their own life. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. That we need to know the truth about ourselves. Amen. And, and then God, amen, will show us how to what to defeat. Amen. That part is what contrary to what is real. Yeah. But when we don't admit that something wrong, when we don't confess that we are all jacked up, and that we keep living a jacked up life and living beneath the blessings of what of God. Yeah. And we lose the concept that whatever we sow, that shall we also reap. Yeah, yeah. Man, you can't, amen, reap gold, amen, when you throw it out junk. Garbage. You're not going to have good things in your life when all you're throwing out and playing is what? Bad things. It don't work that way. But when we're living under the commandments and the restriction and the requirements of God, God opens up windows in heaven that, that pour out blessing that we don't have room to receive. Uh, yes. The Bible said you have not because what? You yes. ask not. When you ask, you ask what? Of this. Uh -huh. Start asking for one good stuff, the right stuff, the things that please God. We fall into that same trap yeah. over and over again. Me, myself, and I become what? The priority of what? Our lives. And God tells us that not only are we to bear what? Our burdens, but we are to bear the burdens of others. If you want relief and release today, say to yourself, God, I know I messed up. 
I know I haven't been walking according to your will. Uh -huh. God, I know I've been selfish. I've been stubborn. I've been prideful. But this moment and this day, I'm going to give my life wholly and completely to you. Take me, use me, and make of me what you would have me to be. It's no longer my will anymore, but let thy will be done into my life. Yeah. Have a conversation yeah. with him. Close your eyes and just ask him to forgive you for your sin. Yeah. To, amen. To restore to you the joy of your salvation. And he'll do it. Because he loves us so much that he didn't fall into that trap. Yeah. He came down, amen, to 42 generations. Amen. He was born in Bethlehem of Judea, laid in the heart of a manger. Walked the dusty streets of Jerusalem, open blinded eyes, unstopped deaf ears, called the lame man to walk, deaf man to hear, amen, and a dead man to rise from the grave. And his disciples wanted to take him and make him a king. But that wasn't what he wanted. He didn't fall into that trap. Amen. The devil, amen, said, turn these rocks into what? Bread when he was hungry. But he didn't fall into that trap. When he hung on that old rugged cross, amen, one of the things said, if thou be the Christ, come down from the cross and save yourself and save me. But he didn't fall into that trap. receive all of my children up to, up to earth with me. Mm -hmm. And we shall all ascend and go to heaven to be with what? Amen. God the Father. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. He has a purpose and he has a goal. He has requirements. He has restrictions for all of us and responsibilities. Yeah. Let's embrace them and be the light of the world. But those people are asking right now, my brothers and sisters, and when the church is supposed to be large, they say, where is the light? Yeah. Where is the light? You are the light. Yeah. Amen. Why don't you shine so men may see what his good works and glorify the Father which are in heaven. 
if you hear now, amen, will you come while this amen. number is being written? Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Blessed assurance. Yes. Yeah, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a glory divine. Yeah. Yeah. Heir of salvation. Purchased by God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior, oh, help me at last. Watching and waiting, looking up. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. Oh, this is my story. Yeah. Oh! 